guys, it's me, Carolyn, from Carolyn Joe Music, and I'm coming to you guys today to talk about your ultimate fear. Um, we all have a lot of different fears, but um, this can still relate to you, but I'm going to be focusing on the uh, fear of success and failure, because those are things that I'm dealing with every day. So um, this can relate to any other fears you have as well, but if you're dealing with the fear of succeeding or failing, then keep watching. Um, so basically, um, I just have a couple questions first. Like, are you afraid of failing? Or are you actually afraid of succeeding? Um, sometimes when we think about failure, you know, we think about disappointing, like for me, especially like others around us, you know, it's, a lot of people are watching us and you don't want to disappoint your friends or people who believe in you, your family, and most of all, like, I don't want to disappoint myself. Like, I don't want to fail. Like, who wants to fail? Um, and then sometimes I deal with the fear of succeeding, you know, because um, sometimes you, like, it's crazy, like, you're doing all this stuff behind the scenes and, like, what if you really get discovered or what if a big door or opportunity or the job you've been waiting for just opens up, like, you know, could you handle it? Like, could you handle your dream? Like, it's absolutely um, frightening sometimes. Um, so, that's the battle. That's my everyday battle with, I don't want to fail, but what if I actually, I'm afraid of actually succeeding too. Um, it's really... A crazy battle and if anybody's dealing with a little bit of both you know what I mean so then we get into these zones and what I mean by zones I'll, I'll explain it further um, two zones especially um, the first zone with um, um, failing is that it keeps us in our comfort zone um, when nobody knows what you're doing and you, or you feel like nobody sees you or you feel like nobody's watching you, you get comfortable, you know, like you're comfortable in people kind of not knowing what you're doing. You're comfortable, um, just kind of doing what you've been always done. Um, so it gets you comfortable, but we always want more though, like deep inside, we always want more. And in, then wanting more, you have to go outside of your comfort zone. So when you go outside of your comfort zone and you want to be successful, that pushes you into the second zone, which is the unknown zone. Um, the unknown zone is where I feel like I'm, I'm at. I'm uncomfortable. The unknown zone is uncomfortable. The unknown zone is, um, is kind of frightening. Um, I just graduated from Christian college, for example, and I told God, hey, you know, I sat on my bed before I graduated, and I'm like, God, I give you my whole life. Like, my whole life I gave to somebody I've never seen. Do you know how crazy that is? And so that pushes you into the unknown zone, which is uncomfortable, but yet you want more, so you have to get uncomfortable. Um, but even though there's the comfort zone and there's the unknown zone there's the point in between where it's called the point of no return um, which I learned in Bible college there comes a point where planes especially back in the old days or in even now that are going over the Atlantic to a different country cannot turn around there's a point where you can't turn back and I'm at that point, like I'm way past that point. There's and if you're and if you're not at that point, you will be. There's a point where you can't turn back. You can't give up. You have to keep going regardless. Cause you put so much into it. You've given everything you have um, for your dream or for whatever you're going for. You put everything on the line for that job um, or for that internship that you can't stop. There comes that point in between the comfort zone and the unknown zone that you can't turn back. And if you're in that point or you're in between or wherever, I just want to be able to encourage you today. That God is saying that um, 
he knows the plans that he has for us and that all we can do is what we can every day um little by little piece by piece building our foundations in him building our futures every day piece by piece by just pushing yourself a little bit more to be a little bit more uncomfortable to suffer a little bit and and letting god just allow you um to mold you making you just a little bit su more suffering a little bit more uncomfortable it's all um making you and molding you into where you're going to be in the person that you're actually going to be um become um being you know going through all the the zones and the point of no return and god is saying also that he hasn't given us the spirit of fear but in saying that we're still human and we still become afraid but we don't have to focus on um fear though we can conquer fear with the word of God and he says he has a plan for our lives and he has a purpose for us and if you don't know your purpose walk closer with God and he will show you God showed me my specific person as purpose as a Christian I mean all Christians have a pur purpose period which is to love God and to love others and to share the gospel but we all still yet have a, t a sp specialized purpose mine is in music and songwriting and encouraging and being an inspiration what's yours you know have you prayed about it have you asked god have you are you walking with god really um and if you know your purpose keep walking with god walk closer with him he um he'll show you even more even though sometimes he only give you things piece by piece strand by strand you know um, puzzle piece by puzzle piece he's still giving you a piece every day and you just have to be on the lookout um, and the last thing I'm going to say is um, there's a song by Laura Hackett she's um, a worship leader at IHOP Ministries she's amazing I love her music um, I'm just learning more about her if you don't know about IHOP Ministries please google it International House of Prayer amazing um, yeah so uh, her song is called When I Am Afraid. I love the chorus. It's very simple. Love it. It says, talks about when I am afraid, I'll trust in you. And when I'm overcome, I will cling on to the rock who is higher. The rock who is higher. And I want to tell anybody out there, what is your, I just want to ask you a question first and then I'll tell you something later. What is your ultimate fear? That's the question I have to ask you. What is your ultimate fear? deep down if you, if you don't know right off the bat think about it deep down for real no games no plastic masks take it off what is your ultimate fear what are you afraid of for real and then when you know realize that the rock is higher god is higher than your fear god is higher than your mess the rock is higher and that's what you should cling to so i just wanted to let you guys know that and just to just ask you some questions just to get you thinking and um the rock is higher and listen to my song it's called hard to fight it um it's on my facebook you know my fan page cjo my facebook carolyn joe shields which links right to my youtube channel which is carolyn joe music i love you guys I know this was a little serious and intense, but I really, really um, want to get people thinking about their fears and um, what God has to say about it. So I love you guys and be blessed. Bye.